I go to the movies. Yep, that's what I did. And, um, wow. <laughs> so, uh, I saw this movie at the Ragtag Cinema. And, uh, I seen the trailer for it. I was like, oh, that looks cool. It is the movie by, uh, the David Cronenberg. Now, I'm not sure which one, if that's the original Cronenberg or The Sun. I am not sure. But this movie is very Cronenberg-esque. <laughs> huh? So, uh, the name of this, this film is called Crimes of the Future. And this movie was crazy <laughs> and it was super cool and uh, it was disturbing and uh, I'm not sure if some of it is legal <laughs> it's messed up um yeah so I won't do any spoilers but obviously the dealing with a a dummy you know but um I think uh maybe such realistic dummies of certain uh people sh shouldn't be used in movies maybe <laughs> I guess they're testing the waters to see what they can get away with. But, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, the FBI comes knocking on these filmmakers' door. <laughs> but, uh, it is what it is. So, <laughs> the general, so, the movie, that aside, the movie is super cool and we're in some sort of dystopian future and humans have started the messy um, the messy activity of evolving you know some stuff won't work that sort of thing you know it's gonna get messy but human bodies are mutating that sort of thing. And there's these different departments. There's like these these cops that are trying to stop things. And then there's like these registry people that are trying to just document it all, you know. And, you know, deciding what's human, what's not human. That sort of thing. But uh, in the world, there is no more pain. So, except for the main character who's always in lots of pain. So... <laughs> Sometimes the movie doesn't doesn't uh, follow its own rules, I don't think. But, so, lots of people don't have pain. <laughs> so they're able to cut each other. And cutting has taken on a, a sort of sexual connotation, you know. And so the movie is like playing on the thing, you know, where artists are always trying to push the boundaries of mixing art and sex and all that sort of stuff. So it's like kind of doing that but it's a lot more bloody and violent <laughs> sort of thing but it's art you know is this art is this not art should art be illegal all this sort of stuff so <laughs> those are the things that are going on here but uh so A lot of the stuff is really cool. Like, there's a really cool design of a lot of the stuff. It's like, it's weird. It's like all the stuff that is mechanical looks really organic. Like, except it's it looks alien, but they don't indicate that it is alien or anything like that. It's just all the machinery looks biological, you know. 
And I don't know if this is based on anything. Like if it's based on a sci-fi novel or it's based on a comic or something. I don't know. So maybe it is. But I, the world they're dealing with, it's setting up a lot of cool stuff. And you can make lots of different movies out of this world. You know, because there's all these different factions, you know, that are that are set up. And, you know, they could be fighting each other. There could be different alliances, all the sorts of stuff that you could do. But the movie is very stylized. And it's really cool looking. There was a part of the movie, which I don't know, it didn't really fit the rest of the movie. So it's like, there's all this really cool... Uh, set pieces you know and all this and all this stuff but then there's a section in the movie like in the middle where it's like the characters for a few scenes back to back they're just all in these like it's like yellowish concrete like dilapidated buildings and it's like it doesn't match anything else and i was like i wonder if this is like reshoots or something and they couldn't do all the cool artistic stuff. So they just like threw them in a room. It's a bunch of people standing against dirty, dirty walls. <laughs> Basically. And it doesn't match the artistic flair of the rest of the movie. So I'm wondering if this stuff is like reshoots. Or if it's like limitations because of the pandemic. If they were shooting during the pandemic. And they could only get a couple people. And they couldn't have a bunch of cool people working on the design of the place and stuff like that. Or just go, ah, throw them in a dirty room. <laughs> we got lines to say. <laughs> but, uh, and that, that part of the movie really kind of dragged, I thought. Because the rest of it was really cool. But, uh, it is what it is. But, yeah, so this movie's really disturbing. It's a hard R. If it actually, I didn't even check the rating. It might be not rated. I wouldn't be surprised if this wasn't rated. I wouldn't be surprised if this is movies NC seventeen. Tell you the truth, there is a lot of nudity. There isn't a lot of, as they refer to the movie, the old sex. There's a lot of, you know, cutting each other instead of sex, <laughs> which acts as sex. <laughs> that sort of thing. Lots of weirdness going on in this movie. <laughs> ah. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> it was disturbing. But it was really cool. And I like the world they're building. And, you know, the interesting stuff that could be done with it. But who knows what's going to happen. But anyway, all that, that's just my opinion. And my opinion doesn't matter. And your opinion doesn't matter. But, uh... We just put our opinions on the internet, you know? It's what we do as a culture. And no one knows why we do it. But we can't seem to stop. So, those are my thoughts and opinions. Thrown on top of the thoughts and opinions pile. They will soon be buried by everybody else's thoughts and opinions. But, uh, for what it's worth, that movie's pretty awesome. <laughs> but disturbing. It's really kind of messed up. <laughs> uh.